ago? Well, I want to thank so much the president and his deputy, Liga de Gashagua, for the statement they made yesterday in the church in Baringo. In fact, as I order, I want to say thanks so much for that wisdom. The words Gashagua mentioned, and I know that is the stand for the president, and the president has been saying that all through when, when he came to the power, forgiveness. I'm so happy because I've been talking about this. I've tweeted several times saying we have no time for fight. The time we have is forgiveness. And I remind and I don't remind the Kenyans to support the president and his deputy and the people who want peace. Because when you don't have peace, there's nothing we can do. And I want to tell Kenyans, we are all Kenyans. And I've been saying, there's no government of two people. The government is for the Kenyans. But the leaders are chosen by the people. The president, Ruto, and his deputy, and all other people who are elected in the different positions. What I would like to tell them is that most of us who knows God, we are very happy about it. Because we have to forgive each other. And I always quote and I repeat all the time. When Jesus was crucified, when he was crucified and he was put on the cross with a lot of pain, he said these words, my father was God, forgive these people because they don't know what they are doing. Those are very strong words we should defy in the Bible. And I think this is what the deputy and the president were referring. If we don't forgive, we cannot go far. And we have no time of fighting. Kenya is in a lot of problems, financially, and the judiciary want to be supported, parliament want to be supported, counties, we cannot do this if we don't have peace. So I want to support them for what they said. And I want to repeat saying, we always pray. Maombi nakuwa ni muhimu sana for everybody. Baba yetu liyo mbinguni. Utusamehe kama tunavyo asamehea wale tuko nae hapa duniani. Wale tunakaa nao hapa duniani. Then if we are starting with tusamehewe na mungu baba kama tunavyo asamehea can, can, can't you see that sense of these two gentlemen so? We want to be forgiven, but we want to forgive the people who say Even if they did that, just forgive them. Leave them the case with their God. You know, when you forgive somebody who have done you bad, he will be burning in his heart and his brain because he knows what he did and he knows he has been forgiven. So you stay having a lot of problem in himself until when also he will defend his sin. Because after you do that, people will defend their sin differently. They will know what they have done. And it doesn't mean that they don't know. They know what they did. And I want to remind Kenyans and my president and my deputy, we did not win this election because of what power we have. It is God who, who won this fight. Winning the system, the deep state, the system, and the money they had. It was not us, it was God. So we must follow the procedure from the Bible. What the Bible is going to read us and what it's telling us. The answer is not in the Constitution. The answer is on the Bible. And when you read it, there always you see it. Hata wivu ambaye di kueko. The same way with Eliua, kind Eliua Dubuyake. So let's forgive so that you can do it work. Our president is working so hard with his deputy, hard to bring the economy in this country. We have not injected so much the way I know because I'm in the UDA. And I'm not in the UDA to boost myself because it's just like the other party. But the president 
knows he has so much to do. He has not injected so much to the country because we had no money, but utaweza kuona kwa ukweli. Unga imerudi chini 169. Gas imerudi chini na 400. Mafuta ya kupika imerudi chini and many other things. It doesn't mean that he has injected money on it, no. But because of the goodwill of telling the people you can bank and you can get the money you want in the bank if it is your money. People are freed. They are getting their money and injecting in the economy of this country. That's why things are coming down. And when we come now to portrays and other things which the president is organizing, I think we are going to have a better country. It's not going to be with the country. It will, it will not be good for the party. It will be good for Kenyans. And Kenyans should know we have to build this country together, all of us. Let's forgive each other. And there's no, nothing you enjoy as when you're forgiven somebody. Let me tell you, because God will come to you and God will give you a lot of wisdom and a lot of peace. But when you are just carrying the revenge, you also be tired for carrying the revenge. Let people carry their own cross. Whoever did that, let's forgive them. Even the present retired Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Let's forgive him for anything he did or anything which people think he did. Because the wisdom of the Bible, you can remember more his last days, what he said. And that's what I would like everybody to defer, even our former president, to remember and that statement is very important, even for him, even for now. It's not late. President Moy, the late, said, if I've done anything wrong to you as a individual, as Kenyans, I ask for forgiveness. And also, if I've done you wrong, I ask for you to forgive me. And me also are forgiven you. Also was the word of wisdom of the Bible. And it's not late even for the president or anybody else to say even for me or anybody. We are not late for that. It's a statement for a second, but it touches the heart of the people in a very big way. So it is so important for us to forgive each other. We cannot invest at the same time we have debate. We can't. And we have been shown this by the president. When he met with the first cabinet, the one which was fighting with him, he asked them for forgiveness. He prayed for them. And they were so relieved. And what to ask? Other things according to the law. Let us follow the law. But forgiveness must be there. And we must do that. I'm so happy and I slept so well for those words. And I encourage my president and the deputy to continue in that way. Even us. Let's continue with that. And we are going to have peace. This country is for Kenyans. This country is for God. And the millions of Kenyans, or maybe 47 million, they're in the hand of the government. They're in the hand of the president. And the president gave them a good president to lead. And I want to say when I'm finishing on that statement, Kibake did so good of bringing the economy back, but he was sick. But he tried until the economy started coming up in a very good way. I'm seeing the way the deputy, the former deputy president, who is the president now, the way he's working very hard, he is going to work better, or he is going to perform better than Kibaki. Kibaki could have done better, like he was sick, but he did good. And with Nopongesa, he did very good. But this young person called President Ruto, I'm 100% is going to perform better and he's going to do well. And Kenyans, one day, you remember him. And I'm saying in the opposition, please think twice what you are doing. I'm saying the issue I've been in the media, in the papers, and everywhere discussing that somebody said that changing the constitution to open for the president, they can continue. Surely, in the opposition, if you are grown up, in your mind, or in the other Kenyans, or even media, the topic you are discussing about. The president have not finished even six months. So why should he be interested with more 
when he has not finished six months. And we know he has his five years. He will fight for his father five years. So I, I think we should not waste time with the media and calling people that uh, analyst, what, professor, to analyze what? Has the president talked anything of addition? He has not talked anything to the president. Even one second. If the president had talked, then now we could be talking. But when everybody talks or the MP talks, where he think? We are not casting the stone. Somebody can say what you think if we have democracy. But there has not been an issue of opposition, of what, of media. No, 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 no. I, I think those are the topics I've talked and I will never talk again because I'm not interested with those useless statement or discussion. I'm not interested. The president has duty to do. And we need to, to, we need to support him. Not making a lot of noise. Don't forget that even the people who are in minority, they are still earning, earning salary, they still need security, they still need everything, allowance, traveling, everything they need. Even their bodyguard, which they have, they have been provided by the money of Kenyans. So when they are talking like they are going to hell tomorrow, or like they are going to divide this country, let them know that is, no way, that is not the way forward. We should be humble, all of us, and focused on the things we are doing. Because all of us, we need to stay together, we need to respect, we need to respect each other. And my word is, now we have a lot of problem. People are dying for this time. Trukana, Balingo, Kajian, everywhere, people are dying. Nangombezetu Nakufa. Is it not important to talk about that issue instead of talking about the extension of the constitution? Shame on you, you people are just talking things which are not helping people. You are so mean on yourself because you are not helping. You're just talking things which are not helping Kenyans. Even the media will ask you when there was a problem, like the problem we have today of food. You used to call people and make a somewhere in the store or in the corridor, persuading people to bring food and other things to go and help our other Kenyans. But media, now you have stopped that you are just in politics because you are even before. There's nobody who voters us like media. We know. But I want to advise you that one is gone. Why can't you announce there in, the, in your door to tell people to bring food here, there? Even the people who are poor in Nairobi or the other places, they cannot miss something to bring for the people of Kenyans instead of just bringing issues which cannot help us. We want to see Kalonzo Yassi's organization of NGO. We want to see him giving food. We want to see Leila Odinga giving food. We want to see the opposition giving food. But now it's only the government which is doing that. That means you are selfish and even actually you are just greedy of the leadership. Why can't you help when you're asking vote and all those things? How will you be able to be elected when people are dying? And we know you are capable. You don't tell me even Leila Odinga and Kina Kalonzo, Kina Mother, you don't have something you can donate or you can give. Just politics when people are dying. And that's where the blessing of the president, Luto, will come and his deputy because they are continuing helping the people day and night. And we are asking them, please continue donating, continue helping. Even if in Vukomoja Aunga, Kilombili, Please, hata kama ni viazi basket moja, hata kama ni cabbage moja, let's hope our people, it is a shame when our people are dying and others we are eating, we are eating 5,000 for food per meal. If you can stop one meal, 5,000, 2,000, you'll be able to save the life of somebody. So let's come all of us and be united to help, but not just politics. Actually, it will not help us at all. The other thing I've seen, and I need to talk about it, and I've not seen people mentioning this. When I was in the parliament, 2016, we did amendment of the bill of the parliament, of the act of the parliament. We changed the act of the parliament of 2012. And we amended it, and it was approved in the 2016. What does it say about the list? 
to the says this. The Land Commission should give a notice because they have all these data. Give the notice for Lisi for five years telling them your lease is almost getting finished. Five years before. If the Lisi will not respond, it will continue saying one year it must be put in one of the papers. Gazette, Kwanja Nguine, one of the papers which is popular in the, in the country, in Kenya. Giving the notice, yeah, let's see. Yeah, mwenye nyumba, ama mwenye shamba, inapea notice. After one year, if it doesn't respond after being served in that way, he must be written by the land commission to show why he should need that land or that property if he's not renewing because to renew it's automatic for the person of the, the land. It's automatic. Land, housing, it's automatic. But if you are not following those and you are not responding, that's where you, we, we put five years, we put one year, then we put six months, you must be written a letter. And if you are not interested, you can say you have surrendered, you have no interest. And if you have no interest, it will go to the commission. The commission is custodian of the land of the government or the land of public. Then the commission, people are making it is automatic to go in the county. No. The county must register with the commission of land their interest with the land. Ile imekataliwa kudiniu this. And I want you to be very clear because the county lands and think now they've got the land to do what they want and start messing with the land. No. The mass liars with land commission. And if the government wants to use that land because it's for public, and the government is for public, they will notify the land commission. They want this land because of the school, because of building something, all that procedure. But not the procedure we saw like in uh, in the university. What they did, subdividing so the land of the land commission in the university and issuing titles. That is wrong. I mean, what they will above the power? The law. Mm. The procedure must be followed. And I've seen some people going up and down. Oh, I've acquired this land. I've acquired this land. Fine. Have you followed the procedure? I've said here. This act of the parliament. And if you don't follow this act of the parliament, you'll be in the problem. If the lawyers or anybody can produce this in the court, the way we passed. And you can see, this is what but this is what we did. This is the amendment. It is there. 2016 amendment. You check, you Google, you see it. And this, this amendment, we changed this amendment of law because we saw the people how they were doing it in 2012. So we changed it and it was approved. 2019, after the Committee of Lands passing this, under the leadership of Moiru, being a member of that committee. I remember we stayed about a week in Mombasa preparing this. And this is the act, and this is the amendment. You can go and Google. So people should stop getting land from the other people. So if somebody abused the house like this one, or like a hotel, then the lease is finished. Who, who, who are you to come and take that land and that building? It's not possible. It cannot work. That will make people kill each other. It's not workable. And again, you must understand if the father of the children is not there, maybe the procedure of the children need to be advised properly by land commission or notice. Maybe the woman have lost the husband 
is so painful to go and evict without following this, this procedure. And it is automatic, I want to repeat, for you to renew. Unless land, unless the county needed, and it must go also through the procedure of land commission. I want to say that. And people should follow that. And the people should respect that. We must make sure that the Minister of Land is going to be very strong on this. And they must do something called public participation to let the people know what is going on and what is supposed to be done. Act of Parliament is a law and it must be followed. So for those two, three statements I've made, that's my thinking. And the issue I've said forgiveness, I think that we should, all of us, encourage forgiveness. If Jesus said, forgive these people, they don't know what they are doing. And that time he was on the cross. When we were talking about Mkuki, we have done all those things, but that's what Jesus said, forgive them. You cannot be preaching the word of God if you are not following the Bible. There is a constitution. And the best constitution in your heart and your life until you die is the Bible. The Bible is the answer. If you have stress of anything, go to the Bible. And we should know, we people of UDA, it's not we who want, it is God who want this system, giving the president and the deputy president and all other people who have been given, it is God. It is not we. God helped us to be there. What is the purpose? God knows you are supposed to perform, but not to think it is our time to eat. No. It's our time, the way the president says, all the time with the deputy. You got the Gashagwa. This is the important time. When I show him, why were you fighting? It is because of this. But when you see someone like it, I would know crowds are coming. I say, oh, you should be eh? You promise the people this, you promise this or this, the people this. We, as UDA, as my president and his deputy, we know the procedure. We are following the constitution. That's why when he was sworn in, he did not chase any minister or a PS. It is a system. And that's why people will think that, they can also saying that one man show. Can also shame on you. If you are the president, how will you operate? Sometimes you talk things which makes you maybe to be seen in a very bad, awkward, even MCA, cannot listen to a statement. You are listening to one man show. You want the, the, the president to enter in the power to chase the minister, to chase the peer, to chase everything by force? That's, what, that's your happiness. So if you, have got, you got this government, that's what you could have done for many Kenyans. Let Kenyans understand you and know you are bad people. Your motive is not good for Kenyans and you need to respect the Kenyans for what they are doing. There is a procedure. Our president is following with his deputy constitution and the respect and putting Kenyans to understand. And he is inviting from all corners where he can. Although the seat cannot be enough everywhere. Even if we somehow we don't have any position, we still say thanks that the people of Kenya have got change. The issue of the police, when I'm finishing, we must protect the police. Very, very, very serious. The police, we must protect them. And I want to say this word. Anybody who has gone and is not licensed, it should be gunned down. Because the gun, it's not a toothbrush, toothbrush that you are carrying. It's a gun of killing people. What is the purpose of a gun? Killing. When you are carrying the gun and you are not licensed, that means you are hunting people to kill. So if I have powers, and the police they may identify that, even before you have done anything, it is you surrender your gun down or they shoot you. That should be the law. Because you are going to kill people. The people must know that without police, we cannot be able to survive. I poor. Check properly and assess in the constitution you are there, but don't be malice. I understand in Nakuru what happened one day. People in Barut, they raped a woman, they killed, they cut his neck, and the head was put in the toilet. And also they sodomized a man, he was put in the road, scaring people. 
If you see those pictures, it's only that the Lord does allow us to post. If you see those pictures and you meet with those people, you could not have left them. Because when you are doing that, killing a woman, leaping, cutting his neck, surely, who are you to remain? You want to use the old Bible, a knife for a knife. Because you are a bad person. And even the people who are doing that, if they are, they are caught properly, and be seen that everything is there. This issue of removing that somebody cannot be killed. There, there is no law, that law. I want to ask you people, if you are saying that it's only Jesus who can remove the knife of somebody, I want to ask did Jesus crucified by God? It's crucified by the people because of the powers which they are given. The one who was listening to the case of Jesus said, This man has nothing wrong with done. But take him, do what you want with him according to your laws. And that's when they went and crucified Jesus. So when you are saying that people should not be crucified also, should not be killed who are killing other people. You are putting them in a cage, giving them food, spending our money of economy, so we may slaughter them later, or we do what? Somebody should go. If he killed in a bad way, something very open, being seen, and he is not sick mentally, he should go and wait in the heaven. That is my statement. Those ones, no forgiveness. The law must follow.